It's the magic of math here, and today we're talking about simple probability. Here's our question today. We have Jacinta, who has two blue marbles, four red marbles, and five green marbles in a bag. All the marbles are the same size. She will select one marble from the bag without looking. And we're asked, what is the probability that Jacinta will select a green marble? I'm going to ask you to pause the video here. Do your best to answer this question. Here are your four answer choices. Come back and hit play when you're done. Welcome back. So we have Jacinta who has two blue marbles, one, two into the bag, four red marbles, add those four, one, two, three, four red marbles to the bag, and then five green marbles, one, two, three, four, five. So we've added all the marbles to Jacinta's bag. All the marbles are the same size. We are told that because if one's larger, you might be more apt to pick a larger one than a smaller one or vice versa, but they're all of equal size, so there's no identifying characteristic if you're not looking. She's going to select one marble from the bag without looking, so randomly. And we're asked, what is the probability that she's gonna pick a green marble? So we call this simple probability because there's just one event happening. She's going to reach into the bag and pull out one marble. That's one event. So to find simple probability, that's a ratio. We talk about the desired outcomes as a ratio to the possible outcomes. So our possible outcomes we're going to look at first. That is how many things could happen when she reached into the bag. When she reaches into the bag, there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven marbles in the bag. Two plus four plus five is eleven. So there's eleven possible things that could happen when she reaches into the bag. Now let's talk about our numerator of our ratio, which is our desired outcomes. Our desired outcome is that we're going to get a green marble. So when we think about that, we're going to know that we have five green marbles in the bag. So it's possible that there are five outcomes out of the 11 that would be desired. So that she has a five and 11 chance of getting a green marble when she reaches into that bag. And that is answer choice C. So that simple probability has a ratio of desired outcomes to outcomes. And thanks for joining me today at The Magic of Math where we continue to master math one video at a time. I hope you have a great day and come back soon.